What's up guys, Lojo Fishing here. Today we're taking a look at my 2017 rod reel arsenal, including Abu Garcia, Shimano, Luz. I got all kinds of good stuff going on here, guys. So stick around, let's take a look at these guys. <laughs> Bucket mouth. <laughs> six foot six inch medium power rod with a fast tip and I combine that with this lose tournament speed spool spinning reel now I really like to use this for lighter finesse applications like I said I like to use 30 pound braid and then I'll tie a, a fluorocarbon leader depending on you know what I'm doing if I'm drop shotting I definitely need a leader um, I, use, I like to use wacky rigged worms, you know, real finesse worms, that type of stuff. This is probably the least used rod and reel that I have, but I do use it a lot. I just, I, I tend to power fish, as most of us kind of prefer to do. Okay, guys, next up, I've got this 7-foot Abu Garcia medium heavy power rod with a fast tip. And I pair that up with this Abu Garcia Pro Max bait casting reel. This is a newer one to my arsenal. Uh, this is my first Pro Max I've ever owned, but I really like it. I typically like to keep spooled on here between, between 10 and 20 pound fluorocarbon. And I use this for a lot of my soft plastics. Uh, I like throwing big worms on this setup. I also like to use moving baits, uh, crank baits, lipless crank baits, spinner baits, chatter baits, that kind of thing. This is uh, slowly becoming a more used setup in my arsenal for sure. Next, we have by far my most used setup. And it is a seven foot, two inch, medium heavy power uh, Denali rod, covert series. And I really, really, really like this rod. I pair this up with a Luz tournament speed spool. And that's a, uh, Really, really good reel for a hundred bucks is pretty much how much they cost, and it is just worth every penny. I use this a lot for my swim bait fishing, which I'm getting into more and more, but I'm really enjoying throwing big swim baits on this setup. Um, I've caught a lot of big fish on this setup. I also like to use this for my, a lot of my top water, uh, my buzz baits, spooks, things like that. I prefer to use braid whenever I do top water, and uh, so I keep about 30 to 50 pound braid on here depending on what I'm doing. Next up, now we're starting to get into a little bit more of the heavier stuff. So now we've got a 7 foot 3 Denali Covert Series, but this one's a heavy power rod. And I uh, combine that with the same kind of reel as the last one, a Luz Tournament Speed Spool for 100 bucks, can't beat it. I normally keep about 50 pound braid on here, and this is basically a frog fishing rod. Um, I use it for heavy jigs as well, but um, I really prefer to throw a frog on this rod. You need that power to really set the hook on a frog and to keep the fish hooked, you know, once you go ahead and set the hook. Really, really, really nice combo. I use that one quite a bit. And finally, number five. This is my meat stick. Okay, this is a very, very, very heavy. This is a seven foot six inch lose. TP1 speed stick rod, and it is a heavy power rod, very long, heavy power. I combine that with a Shimano Curado 200 reel, and on this, of course, I keep real heavy line. I like to do 65 pound braid normally, because this is like a flipping stick. This is when you're gonna be dropping soft plastics into some really heavy cover. I um, use this a lot down in South Florida when we're flipping. And this is, uh, I don't use it quite as much in Alabama, but it's a really nice setup. I really, really love the Shimano reel. It's really nice. You can't really beat a Shimano reel, but they are very expensive, so. Now, some of you may be wondering which of these rods or which of these reels is my favorite. 
And let me tell you, it's really hard to decide. Um, I've got two Abu Garcia rods that I use. I've got two Abu Garcia reels that I use. So they're very good. The price point on these items are very, very low compared to the quality that they are. Um, that was one of the first rods I ever bought was Abu Garcia because it was a hundred bucks and it was, it, it's worked great ever since then. Um, I've got a lot of lose stuff as well. I've got a couple lose rods that weren't in this video and the lose reels for a hundred bucks. Those two reels that I have, I mean, they're so good. They're so smooth. I hardly ever have any problems with them. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than the Abu Garcia stuff that I have, but I feel like the quality is probably about the same. Then you come to the Shimano reel, and let me tell you, that thing is a smooth casting reel. It is so smooth, but the price is so expensive on these things. I actually didn't buy that. It was bought for me as a gift for Christmas, and of course, I've loved it ever since, but for the money, I just don't know if I'd be willing to spend as much money as some of those Shimano reels cost. Um, but they do have a great rec uh, reputation, and they've made a lot of great products over the years, so it's really hard to, hard to bash Shimano, even though they are very expensive. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button at the bottom of the video. If you're new, if you've never seen this gorgeous face before, subscribe to my channel. Two videos every week, saltwater fishing, try to throw some alligator spotting in there, we're going to do some catch and cooks real soon. Stay tuned. Hang with me. See if you enjoy it. Peace.